We have been struggling with Gaussian splatting file sizes for some time now. Gaussian models are in themselves quite easy to display and the presentation of the points can be pretty smooth as long as the model file can first be read out. And that's exactly what can be tricky, especially in web applications. If the file sizes starts to be anything from 200 megabytes to 1 gigabyte, that doesn't sound like much with today's modern network's transfer speeds, but still, the average download time for such files is simply too long. Fortunately, a good solution for this has finally been implemented. Hello everyone, it's Olli here again. This time I want to highlight a recent development regarding Gaussian splatting file compression. I think this is a significant milestone, and finally the bulky PLY files can be reduced to much more practical size. The method used to this is called SOG, SOG, and it stands for Spatially Ordered Gaussians. It is a new format that has been open sourced quite recently for us by the Play Canvas company, the same group that have developed the Super Splat editor and the great public gallery for us before. The compression ratio that can be achieved here is quite incredible. The SUG method can shrink Gaussian PLY files to over 90% less space. And this is done lastlessly by simply rearranging the data that was originally written into a PLY files in rather disorganized and reparative manner. If I could somehow describe this compression method well, we can think of this selfie stick here as a typical Gaussian splatting PLY file opened to full size. It is quite light to roll and rotate around, but in this long form it is rather impractical and difficult to handle or carry around. But when we pack its telescopic frame down and squeeze it in, it becomes much easier to handle. All the information on it is still there, it's just been smartly reorganized and its overall shape now takes much less space. But how we can actually perform the compression of the file goes like this. We need to visit the GitHub repo made by Play Canvas called Splat Transform. From here we can follow the simplest installation instructions. All we need to do is open a command prompt and type this installation command. Okay, if you have never done anything like this before and using command line and GitHub repos are completely new to you, no worries. Let's go hand in hand. I'll show you how to do it. Because Play Canvas has programmed this compressor using TypeScript and JavaScript, we will need this Node.js software on our computer so that we can perform this first npm part of the command. So very quickly go on to this page and install the latest light version on your operating system. After that you can open the command prompt window just by typing the cmd into the windows search box here. And now we are ready to type that command. You can also copy it from the github page and paste it in here. So this npm stands for the node package manager and it reads all kind of ready-made javascript packages that have been published from different users in this public register. This install-g is a parameter that sets the program to be global, so you can use it in any situation regardless of which directory you are in your computer. And the rest of this comment just tells us that we are downloading this public package from this Play Canvas user. Now that Splat Transform is installed, we can use it simply by typing this command. Splat-transform 
Then we need the input .ply file and then the output.shog file. So in my case, my .ply file that I want to compress is located on my C drive in this directory. So to speed things up, I just drag this file from the file explorer directly here to the command line after this command. Next, I hit a space bar and then drag the same file here again, since I want everything to be compressed in the same directory. Only difference is that I replace this last file extension with the letters SOG. Then we are ready to press the enter. Since my source file is about 691 megabytes in total, it will take some time to compress it. But once the process is complete, we can look at our directory in File Explorer and see that there is now this new .sog file. And as soon as we look at its file size, we can see that it is significantly smaller than the original. This file is only 43 megabytes, which is about 93% smaller than the original .ply file. That's great. But where can we view and use this compressed SOG file then? Right now, at the time of making this video, SOG files are still very new and there aren't many applications where we can actually use them. But I'm sure that this will change pretty quickly. The best place to open this is by dragging it into the Supersplat editor. There we can see that the file is indeed in exactly the same condition as the original. Even all the spherical harmonics layers are preserved. So in that respect we can see that Zog is indeed looseless and all the splats have remained as they should. Another Play Canvas application that can use the Zog format is the publishing function. The latest Supersplat version now has this section where you can decide which shock settings to use when publishing your own model to the Play Canvas gallery. So here the SOC compression is done automatically and you don't need to download any separate source code for it. The third place where SOC files can be used is the Play Canvas own game engine. You can now directly drag SOC files in there and use as assets to design online games or other web applications. Play Canvas Game Engine is quite versatile tool. I found this compression method a very exciting and long-awaited feature, and I want to say the big thanks for the Play Canvas team and other brilliant minds behind it for developing it and sharing it openly. Let's hope this quickly becomes the next file standard in the Gaussian splatting field. If you are interested in details and the technology involved in this splat arrangement, I recommend watching this episode from the View Dependent podcast, where the German researcher Wieland Morgenstern is a quest. He explains the principles of this compression algorithm and how these self-organizing splats actually works. Okay, now that you know what the SOG compression is and how you can compress your PLY files with it, I think my job is done here again. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.